Hey guys, Justin Brock here. Today I want to talk a little bit about three sales tips that I picked up watching a podcast episode this morning. A guy named John Barrows that I really enjoy listening to was talking about some things that just really resonated with me. Um, number one was about A-B split testing. Okay, We all know what A-B split testing is, or if you don't, A-B split testing in marketing is when you try two different things with very uh, very small factors changed so you could decide which one performs better. Then you go into the next variation and A-B split test again uh, and so you can slowly create the best, most refined marketing practice by changing one or two variables at a time. A-B split testing your sales approach is like this. If I had to make 50 calls a day and I divided it into 25 calls each, or 25 calls in the morning, 25 calls in the afternoon, and I tried two separate approaches, and neither worked, I would know the next day to try two different uh, variables. But let's say one worked better. Okay, well, I'm going to try that. And then maybe I do it the next day where I try that exact replica and then with one small variable change to my approach in the afternoon, 25 and 25, slowly refining my process and coming up with better uh, things, uh, better things to say or a better approach over time. So A, B, split test your sales approach. Number two was all about being part of a community. You know, a long time ago, sales organizations were all together. And we're very blessed here in Tupelo, Mississippi, birthplace of Elvis, uh, to have our, uh, you know, community together. We have a lot of salespeople and employees working together, and we can kind of uh, be able to, you know, piggyback off of each other's highs and lows so that we can get through hurdles. If somebody's really rude to us or we're dealing with a problem, you know, everybody's here to say, hey, it's not a big deal. I've dealt with that. Hey, we'll get through it. Don't worry about it. Just keep going. Um, we get to motivate each other. Unfortunately, in the COVID era, there are a lot of people that are working from their house. They're working alone. They're working in their car alone. And when they have those, those hurdles, there's nobody there to help them get back on uh, the horse and keep going. So get part of a community. It's a virtual community like Medicare Guru's Facebook group or something like that. Uh, those are ways to vent our frustrations, vent about these appointments, uh, learn from one another, and, and keep encouraging one another to get bigger. Huge, huge uh, tip, I think, that a lot of people are missing. And then uh, third uh, was was talking about, um, oh, what was third said? Come on, let's go look at it. <laughs> third tip I wrote down was on social selling. Social selling, guys. So social selling is, is kind of a new thing. And when he was talking about, John Barrows was talking about how Gen Xers and some of the older people hate the idea of social selling. They, they'll have a Facebook profile with no, no image just so they can see what everybody else is doing, but they're not doing social selling. And social selling, he talked about, don't be a spam bot. Don't just create content and share your content. Create content and share your content. Share other people's content in the beginning. Build a community of people discussing other things so that you can actually start to talk about stuff. When we first started putting content online, it wasn't just our content. It was communicating with other people, sharing their things and collaborating. And that allowed us to grow to where people did want and demand a little more content from us, produced by us. So get out there and share other people's content, comment on it, uh, find articles from people that you like. Say, hey, I read this article. This is an interesting article. What do you think about it? Stuff like that. Extremely helpful. Uh, and, and I think it's one of the ways to kind of pivot into, uh, into being a content creator or getting into social selling, getting into collaborating within the social sphere and, uh, and, and be able to benefit from it, not only by learning things and new tactics and networking, but also potentially getting your voice out there so that your ideal client avatar can reach out to you and buy from you as well. So hope that helps, guys. If you need any more tips or if you have any ideas for tips, please comment below. Also, uh, throw us a like or a share or wherever platform you're watching this on. Uh, let us know that you liked it or didn't like it or have some sort of objection. Anything you want, leave it below. Talk to Subscribe you. to the YouTube channel. Did you like the video? Please turn your notifications on and head over here to our next video. And if you haven't joined our Facebook group, check out Medicare Gurus. It's over 7,000 members strong currently. And there's tons and tons of wealth of information and knowledge from experienced agents as well as new agents that you can find and help shepherd. So thank you guys so much for watching. Check this video out right here.